So, what's going on, man? You okay? So, nice. Nah, I'm just chilling. Oh, I'm yeah. making a movie. You trying to see the games? He's making one. Yeah. You want to get in it? Oh, I Tell him about Polo. You come down to see him much? Let's see what? You come out and see Polo much? Yeah. yeah. Every now and then I come down and check Polo out. Look good? I come check it out. Yeah, looks good. Y'all playing? Y'all bike Polo. Oh, it's bike Polo. Okay. Oh, that's nice. that in the 1800s bike polo was actually an Olympic, uh, maybe not quite an Olympic sport, but it was almost an Olympic sport, um, but they played on, uh, on grass back then I believe. And then grass polo on bicycles has been going on forever. And I would say probably about eight, nine years ago, I'm not completely sure of all the history, but I'd say about eight or nine years ago, um, we started playing the version that we play today on hard court. Um, most people in cities don't have enough grass to play on, so our only alternative is to play on pavement. And, uh, and that's how we started playing this. Right now is a three on three format, so there's three per team. Um, and the game starts, the ball's in the middle, and they have what's called the joust, which um, each team lines up on its goal line. And one player sprints towards the ball in the middle and basically jousts for the ball. And uh, then it's a fairly easy, uh, simple rule set. There's, uh, you know, Shots have to come off the end of the mallet. They can't be what's called shuffled in, which comes off the side of the mallet. Um, you're not allowed to have any non-light contact, so you have to have like a bike-to-bike -bike contact is okay, mallet-to-mallet -mallet contact is okay, and person-to-person -person is okay. So there is checking involved. And if you are, if you put your foot down off the bike, you have to tap out and one of the sides in the middle of the court before you can return to play. Um, and one of the final rules is just don't be a dick.
Yeah.